What's up guys, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the new Icolite dry lock system. This video is going to be the dunk test and part two will actually show you how to assemble your camera into the unit. What's included in our kits is the 200DL underwater housing, three lens extension ports, a 28, 42, and a 50 millimeter, three zoom ring kits, the silicone lube packet, this funky tool, and of course the dome. First thing you wanna do is figure out if you're gonna need any of the port extension tubes. I'm gonna be using the 17 to 40 millimeter, so I'm gonna be needing the 50 millimeter port extension tube. Some lenses might use multiples and some lenses like the eight to 15 only use the dome. I'll put a link in the description below that lists all of the compatible lenses and the proper port extension tubes for them. Once you know which port extension tube you're gonna use, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is locate all of the O-rings. Each port extension will have one O-ring, and then on the Icolite, there's one on the back and then one on the front. To get the O-rings off, I'm gonna be using this little tool, but you can use whatever you have available to you, whether it's a screwdriver or a key or something like that. Just make sure it's not sharp because you don't wanna cut the O-rings. Once we have them off, we're gonna inspect each individually, making sure that there's no dirt or dust or hairs or any cuts in the O-ring. Once we've inspected each of them and we know that they're good to go, we're gonna put a little bit of lube on our finger and then run the O-ring through it, giving a light coat to the outside of the ring. Do this with each of them and then we're gonna replace them back where we got them from. One to the port extension tube, one to the back of the Icolite housing, and one to the front of the Icolite housing. The last thing we need to do before we can start assembling it is removing the body cap and the zoom ring collar. You're gonna do this by using that little funky tool that I showed you at the beginning and you're gonna put it in and twist and unthread that zoom collar. Then the body cap and that zoom collar can come out. If you don't plan on using the zoom rings, then you can just put this back in the case. Next, we can start assembling it. First, by putting the back door on. So we'll lay it on the back and then do the two side clamps first, making sure that you're doing them with even pressure. Then you can do the top clamp. After all of these are locked down, you wanna look around at the O-ring to make sure that it's solid black all the way around. If you see any spaces, that means water can get in. If you do see a space, make sure to take it off and put it back on again. Then we can flip it over and add the port extension tube and the dome. I'm just using one port extension tube, but if you're using more, you'll just stack them using this same method. You wanna look at the inside of the port extension tube and make sure that the screws are backed out and flush with the inside of the port. This makes it so it'll fit nicely right over the Icolite housing. Then you wanna pick one of the screws and you're gonna line it up with the cutout on the Icolite housing. This should be a pretty snug fit and you'll hear it pop when it clicks into place. Then go around and tighten the three screws. You should just do these hand tight, you don't need a tool. Next is either more extension tubes if you're using a longer lens, or in my case, I'm just gonna be using the dome. So I'm gonna do the same thing, back out all of the screws so that they're flush with the inside, and then I'm gonna locate the screw that's in the center of one of the hoods, like this. That's gonna be the top of the dome and that's the one you're gonna to wanna to line up with the cutout. So we'll line that screw up just like we did before. Push down, you'll hear that pop in, and then we can tighten all of those screws down. You should have the big parts of the dome hood on the top and bottom. After that, we're ready to take it swimming. So let's do a quick dunk test and make sure there's no leaks. You're gonna wanna lower it slowly into the water, keeping an eye out for any bubbles. You should see some bubbles coming from the handles and that's perfectly okay, as long as they're not coming from anywhere near the dome port or the back of the housing. If you do see any, remove the Icolite from the water right away and dry out the inside. There's electrical things in there that can't get damaged. If you've done the dunk test successfully, then go check out part two where we'll show you how to assemble it with the camera and the zoom ring. See you in the next one.